Well, good morning. I just came in off the big river up into this little creek system. I'm going to run up into this creek and uh, try to target the motor I found when I was on that scouting trip in a little creek. It's hopefully going to be a good day. I got uh, some 220 boxes to put out and some uh, TS 85s I'm going to put on the otter toilets and see if I can't pick me up one of these one of these otter. We'll move on down and get everything started. I just got the first 220 box put in. I've got fish back in the box staked out right here next to a crossover where they're going up into a little slough. But uh, I've got fish in the back of the box staked out and I'm using a little Fleming's crawfish oil and a little bit of this Marciata's 900 otter lure. We'll hopefully pick one up here. We're gonna give it a shot. Well, I have found something huge digging and going up here on this sandbar. But uh, I've got a TS-85 right there on a drowning cable running out here in the deep water. And I found something digging a huge hole up there on the top of that sandbar. And I got a TS-85 sitting right there on a grounder cable running out here in the deep water. But uh, going by the claw marks, this thing's humongous. Maybe we'll get him. We'll move on down. Good bit of otter sign scattered all over this sandbar. They are spending a lot of time here. You got a good chance of catching one. Looks like three or four different size otter tracks, but uh, maybe you can see them. You can count all five toes and clawed feet, but. Uh, pretty good size we'll uh, move on down see if we can't find somewhere else to sit well, I found this cool little trail coming up through here everything's got sign in and out right here I have put in a 220 box baited with fish and used a little crawfish oil and Marciata's otter lure out here to get everything's attention. But uh, I don't know if you can see if there's fish back in the back of the box. <sighs> Hopefully I'll do good. We're trying to pick up an otter. They're pretty hard to figure out sometimes. They're nomads. But we'll move on down. Well, here we are at one of those otter toilets I was setting up. The... Uh, I was always told growing up starting to trap if a place is good enough for one it's good enough for two and if it's good enough for two it's good enough for three but there's my TS-85 offset out in about three and a half four inches of water at the base of this entrance and exit to this otter toilet on a slide drowner I'm gonna move right down here to the other end of it Here's the other end of it. Offset. Get in here where I can see it better. Offset to the left side on a TS-85 on a 1 8 drender. Well, I'm sitting up right here at this otter toilet and uh, I was always told if a sets if a place is good enough for one trap it's good enough for two if it's good enough for two it's good enough for three 
I have an awful lot of sign coming and going in and out of here. And when I got here this morning, the sand was still wet for stuff coming in and out. I've got a TS-85 offset to the left side coming up their trail out in about three, four inches of water. I have put a 220 box over there because there was a good bit of traffic sidestepping the entrances and exits to the toilet and I'm try to push over here to this other one got a little side tributary making a a shortcut between the creek run and over to the river Everything's using it for a shortcut between coons, beaver, otter, muskrat, neutra, everything. But right here at the point, entering and exit the little shortcut, I've put a 220 cone bear box baited with fish and used a little crawfish oil and Mar Marciata's otter lure. Hopefully we'll do some good here tomorrow. But, uh, We'll see. It's, uh, I trapped this place last year and had pretty good success, but uh, we'll see how it goes. Uh, maybe it could be a good catch. See you tomorrow.